guys, welcome to the fourth round of the round robin. I think this is probably the last round. Oh, we can get another round next if you want. Um, yeah, we've got Greg, who's uh, the first seed playing Fish, and Sam on the left playing Gujins, who hasn't lost yet, hasn't dropped the game. Uh, this playoff, so yeah. Uh, don't forget to check out. You guys decide, guys. I don't know. Okay, you got die. You got scrub die. Oh, you, oh, never mind. Both of them. All right. So don't forget to check out our sponsors, Blazing Sun TCG. B Tech guys. He is sponsoring half of the uh, prize pool for today's tournament. Check them out on the Facebook page as well as their eBay page. The links down in the description. So yeah, go check that out. Uh, fortunately, that. So, yeah, Todd, who's running that, has dropped all of his games, sadly, so there's no way for him to win his own prize pools, sadly, but yeah. Right, so let's start with Greg, who's going to use Unexpected Die in his fish deck. Expect a vanilla, the rainbow, probably, or um, rainbow, um, seven coloured fish. They didn't call it rainbow, it's just seven coloured fish. I don't know who this is, by the way. Okay, I might have some. Okay. Greg's hoping He's, and his teammate get enough points to get top cut. Thousand life points. Now he's losing in time. <laughs> time. <laughs> he's going to pay a thousand to summon a fusion level five or lower from the deck. Extra deck. Field. Rare fish, mate. Rare fish. It's very rare. Um, how are we going to do this? I know, right? <laughs> oh, he's not manually fusing it into rare fish. Don't you need like a beast monster and a fish monster to make it? Is it a fusionist is like a fusion monster. So we're going to fuse into fusionist and then fuse into another fusion monster. Well, why not just instant fuse for that guy? <laughs> I mean, in the old games before uh, Instant Fusion was a card, you had to fuse into Fusionist and then fuse into that. So to get a 1500 beat stick or something on the field, that's pretty. Uh, very. It's <laughs> very classic Yu Gi Oh! It's like completely pointless. <laughs> can you get him in high rarity? You can, right? Right, have we started? Not yet. Oh, we have started. Right, so what have we got? We've got. We've got um, so Bujin Bujin versus Scalar. Bujin, Bujin versus Fish. Versus Fish. Okay. Yeah, freaky fish guy. Uh, <laughs> add this turn, add a seven coloured fish. Rainbow coloured fish. And he hasn't normaled yet, so it's gonna normal that. And he's gonna spec XC's Remora. Based on the way the tournament's going at the moment, <laughs> Sam and Danny look like the team to beat. Yeah, we overlay into Hope. Spider Shark, whatever Can't its name is. Right? He cannot make her, no. no. As He's banning this one. Yeah, uh, yeah. We don't play the rest. Okay. Hey. Touch to summon Rev. Yep. The XC's guy stacks a rank up magic to the top of the deck and he's gonna overlay into Black Ray Lancer to have the nicest board I can see. It's a very nice fish board. Shark fish. Got one back row as well. So from five cards he made that board. Not too bad. Quality. <laughs> Judgment. Galaxy Cyclone. And what are we taking? We're taking the Cyclone. Yep, of course. Got the Cyclone is good. You do Very good. Especially now that it's only one back row to worry about. Joining us in the commentary is your boy Drake. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. We were the finalists last season, weren't I you? was indeed. Ooh, yeah. Unfortunate. He lost. Still but, uh, yet. Second place still. It's pretty good. Still yet to win the playoffs. Uh, Sadly, couldn't qualify for this one, though. Yeah, I only got to enter twice. Ironically, I won both of those tournaments. Yeah. But, you know. It's usually not enough, but. Yeah. If Todd dropped, I think you were in. I would have slid in, yeah. Yeah, you would have been Scott's teammate, wouldn't you? Oh, you boy. That would have so, been pretty interesting. Ooh. I think me and Scott would have had a decent chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Todd does have the priority for that spot, so he wanted it, so sadly he didn't read too, too much, but still, 
Uh, nice for him to turn up in one of his first playoffs. For sure. So when that guy's died, uh, destroyed, he does something, I think he specs a fish. Sends a water to grave, then Sends a water from grave. Nice. Send this guy from grave. Oh, my kind of Yu-Gi-Oh game, aggro versus control. Yeah. Send Ko Oh, that's why you're in there. That's pretty clever. <laughs> Very nice. So Koala can... Uh, everything's a trade or so, uh, just stuff on the few Nice. Okay, so... Koala can't come a big friend. So how have you laid it out? Have you got the, um... The team that are, um... Because I'm guessing, you know, you've got one NU, you've got one P, yeah. right? Both so, teams, one player has uh, the NUT, which yeah. is the second lowest tier, and one player has the PU tier. And how do you put them into groups? So is it a mix of PU and NU, or is it...? No, it's not a mix. It, both... All, all of the players are PU, goes to the PU brackets, and then all the NU players go to the NU brackets. And in top cut, there'll be a crisscross, so there'll be the PU guy playing the NU guy, and there'll be hmm. the NU guy playing the PU guy, so... Maybe they'll end 2 0 for both games, in which case we'll play the third game, which is the tiebreak game between the winners of those two games. Yeah. And then we could end up seeing NU versus NU, or ironically, PU, PU versus, versus PU. PU. Yeah. yeah, PU versus NU. Yeah, anything could happen, I guess, in the top cut. Uh, but more more likely, the NU guys will win. So PU's got like its own man list, so a lot of cards are found, like, like generic links like Phoenix, and uh, Unicorn, and stuff like that. So a, lot a lot of staples harder. like judgments, ban and stuff like that. So. Oh, solemn judgment. Yeah, yeah. PU. So when you see like a PU deck, it's like, oh, this is garbage. Mm -hmm. you, know, and you don't have, you don't even have, you don't even have heavy storm or like stuff like that, or crackdown or whatever. The standards don't do it in you, but that's because they actually just ban. It pretty much is the art yeah. type. So usually in PU, you see like really janky decks with weird trap cards like Wall of Disruption. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's like dual links related yeah. cards. And it's, it's weird. It's Magic a, Cylinder as well. It's, this is, this sounds like a good light. tier. It's, it's a, a funny tier. tier. It's a funny tier. In most games usually take about 25 minutes at least. Yeah. There's no like quick long grindy Yu Gi Oh! That's yeah. what Unless we like someone drops Exodia in the first turn, of course, that'd be like two seconds. <laughs> you know? I don't think Rich has done that yet today. Wait, he won with Exodia though, right? How long uh, did it take him? He won 2 0 against um, Todd and then he. Drew against the Dwyer, but well, he got good at my plan, so but sadly he lost 2 0 to Danny Rand, almost crazy. Is that going to be significant? Yeah. Perhaps, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, this whale's going to attack. Synchro for that one. I believe it dies, does something. It comes back, it goes, it submerges itself, and then it, it rises up again. It's a fish type, but whales are mammals, it still yeah. triggers me. Yeah. <laughs> It's a fish type, but if you use Torrential, they all die. To be fair, when there's like a tidal wave, a lot of fishes die. They all get carried by Oh yeah, they, they go slam to, into yeah, the land. Yeah, yeah, so what, what, what are we seeing now? Has he pitched the thing? Is that ditch? Honest. Honest? Okay. Yeah. Banish. So the whale comes back. Because honest. He was doing life points, but are oh, you doing life points? Yeah, okay, thank you. So you take uh, the attack value off Mikazuchi. I think that's Mikazuchi. It's Yamato, sorry. Yamato. Yeah. Yamato. Uh, oh, that's good that you open Yamato. That's the best Bujin. <laughs> open turn one. Doesn't even need Tenki. <laughs> yeah, man. One, uh, one, uh, you can only control one of your Interesting effects. Makes it somewhat balanced. It's a very good Yu-Gi-Oh card. Yeah. It's not once per turn, isn't it? Or uh, hard once per turn. For the ditch draw. Yeah. It's just or, uh, free draw, advantage. Not draw. You know I mean? uh, search then ditch. Yeah. I mean, putting in cards that work well in the graveyard. Yeah. It's a condition as well, so you can't summon it. If you get flipped face up, it'll just mean feel like that. Right? It's a condition to have only one. Yeah, yeah. So the card got popped and it's got a deck when it gets destroyed. Especially a fish from the deck. Wow. So now Greg's got five fish on the field. Yeah. It looks like he's going for his push now. Oh, yeah, but he's already attacked. 
with one yeah, it's, it's Sam's turn at the moment, because he's got it to save. Yeah, to be honest, I couldn't attack him. Yep. This is where you see like the like how deadly Bujin is. Like, because they actually prefer when you have a big field. Don't say that. Say it's fine. Oh, it's definitely fine. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Killing the ocean. <laughs> so, man, he's Sense playing ninjas, you know what I mean? He's playing Naruto. Oh, but late. Once he busts out that man, Gekko Shari. Are we going to see Sukiyo, <laughs> Susano, or a Matoratsu? No, Naruto. Oh, okay, that's not any of those. Oh, no. It's the uh, bye bye board. Two so, out to Rich. Right, so Charlie's just dropped, and Rich has got. Uh, <laughs> And now we get to see why this card was banned for, what was it, five quite, years? Quite a while. Four years? Two, two, it's like two, uh, three years at least. Three, yeah. At least, yeah. yeah. 2015 to 2014, yeah. 2016 got banned, I don't remember. Yeah, I think, quite a while I think it got banned when I, I took my break, so it could have been anywhere around 2015, yeah. 2016, but at least a good three years. Yeah. So it's going to stack the seventh one to the top of his deck. The whale's coming back as well. Is that the seventh one? It's exciting that new board. Reveal it. Brian Cup Magic for free. It's a little bit strong. 101. 101. C101 is probably going to eat the exciting <laughs> Enough damage for game? I don't know. I think, not. I think Sam's on 8k. Okay. So what's that, 5, 6? Yep, 600 is not quite enough. It's a lot of damage though. C101 is destroyed, I believe it comes back. Yeah, it, and it heals you for quite a bit of life as well. Yeah. Very strong, you yeah. yeah. You don't really see it very often. Yeah. Strange card. I never see a summon properly by like an actual rank up magic, but you use, you use one here. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. It's like can't use so I yeah. have to find a replacement. Yeah. yeah, it's a good replacement. I'm not a fan of it, it takes up space in the extra deck. Definitely putting in the wire right now. <laughs> So you lost two. Oh, yeah. that, I, I thought you would use that too. Yeah, it's, a, it, it's a really bad match. Just, you just saw the. Uh, yeah, the I could tell it was a bad match. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, you want him to attack it to you, and he wants you. Yeah. yeah, I'll have you with Danny in the feature match next. Is that right? Uh, that should be fine. Right, you haven't played oh, him yet. Yeah. Reptilian versus Bloody Cruel versus uh, Confirmation. But we, I usually do alright against him though. It's usually quite even. Yeah. Yeah. Reincarnation. The big push from Sam. Control no monsters. Control no monsters. Placement a banished card in the graveyard. Sorry. Yeah, Aside from yeah. your eyes. But he's, he's locked, I think he can only make uh, uh, beast, XYZ, yeah. no, Wing Beast, Beast Warriors and Beast Oh, so it's not Bujins, it's just... Yeah, you, you can make like Castell and stuff like that. Sadly, that just, just doesn't put it right now. Dire Wolf as well. There'll be no Utopia double combos here, boys and guys. <laughs> oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. You can't make it anyway, it's Warrior. Otherwise, I'd definitely run it. <laughs> well, there were so many cheap wins like last time. Yeah. Yeah. Summon Bujin Hiruko, the Pendulum. That's the newest Bujin monster. I see. Make it sets. Are oh, we going to see a Susana? Overlay the two, the two Fujins and Sanoa. Allows them to add a Sen or Sena Bujin from deck to Brave or Hand. Gigigant. Yeah. But it could be better because you can send it to Brave, so trigger Brave effects. Attack. No. Yeah. And it's bigger. What is it? 2 4? It's 2 4, yes. 
Blackwing's crane, which is the one that doubles the attack. That's it. That's it's their not black wing. It's, it's, like their, it's a weird honest, yeah. yeah. It's like their black wing Kalut. Yeah. In between the Kalut and an honest, I guess you could say. Yeah, very it's a good card. It's a solid card. And face your motto will add a beauty in the clan and your monster. Crane. Was that in the book? Crane? Yep. Sand. Crane. It's going to ditch Galaxy Cyclone. Fair enough. Oh, that's good. I didn't realise that you could pitch any card. Yeah, it's any card. Mm. So if you got stuff like Galaxy Cyclone, which is good in Grave, it's good to pitch, like Lost Wind and stuff like that. Or the generics. I know that. This one's going to eat this. Susa Noo. That's just a really good effect. Yep. It's basically one on one every turn. Yeah. One it's one Cyber Dragon Infinity. Infinity. Yeah. The like attack position. It's such an outrageous that effect. Yeah. Especially with links these days. Yeah. Right. Oh, sorry. Interestingly enough, this could be game. Right? Possibly. Yes. Rabbit to protect Yamato from dying this turn. And Asuda was in this spec in defense position. Yeah, alright, so it's going to overlay. I don't know what he's going to go into. Does it come back immediately after you kill it, or does it come back in the end phase? Which one? Uh, the, I think it's uh, immediately. If it dies, it goes, it goes to graveyard, it comes back instantly. Isn't it? Make another Susano work? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's it's when it gets killed. Is that a once per turn effect or just whenever it dies? But it has to have material, so. Oh, okay, so it's somewhat bad. If it has 101, I believe it does. Yeah, when it dies. As long as it has material and I have 101 engraved. Oh, engraved. Oh my god. It's even better. So the, they made it so if you make it manually, you've got like three level five monsters or something, something stupid. It does, it's not very good. It's not as good yeah. as if you just strange card. Right, so it's gonna use Susano again to add or bitch. If only you could add honest, right? Right. Just straight. And this is straight just, up add honest. This is just a prime example of why we like Scrub League. The <laughs> momentum swings. I mean, we saw. And he had a really good ball. Yeah, we saw it like in Greg's favor, and, just and then it. Sam swung it with Excite and I, and then Greg spun back again. This one will be popped. So William pops a face up card. And this comes back. We probably want to give his cards back to him. Hello. Meet Charlie, right? Yeah, two right. So you just have to hope Brad doesn't like get wrecked. Well, I don't know. He has to chew up. He's playing like really salty. Oh, okay. That's why we love Yu Gi Oh! So inducing game. 2000 damage. I'm back on the set as well. Now we're going to sit on the castle. Which uh, fish? Uh, what fish mine is? Mine? What's mine? What? What uh, thing is mine? Is mine? Oh, the new. Yeah. 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 We're not playing, so you're in the It's you, you next season, so. Royal Swamp Eel. It's going to be a specimen angler. Overling, I think. Uh, 
Uh, what does angler lock you into? Specimen from hand? Uh, uh, once you spec it, you can't oh, spec from hand. Can't spec from hand. Okay, nice. Okay. I don't know if that's enough though. Uh, I don't want to do that. They got nine and a half points. I'm not sure if that's enough for top cut. Hey. You got nine and a half points. I don't know if that's enough for top cut. We'll find out. Big Rich. Big Rich and Brad, yeah. So, so could we is actually an see a guaranteed new champion? Spider Shark. I'm going to say new champion. I don't mean for the first time. I mean for this season. Because the past champion won the past two. So yeah. Someone gonna... yeah, everyone's against Rich right now. I can imagine. <laughs> Anything but Rich. You don't want the same person to win twice and that is going to get judgmental. Dre and Jal on commentary. Hey, mate, duo. <laughs> this is why like, you can see the difference in the tier right now with solid judgment. Yeah. Pay half your life points, say no. Yeah, but say no. Yeah. Is it on summon? Did you, did you use on summon? Yeah. Yeah, he can't come back. No, no, it doesn't come back. Just when this card is destroyed, it's sent If it just says when this card is destroyed and sent to David, this could actually be very broken. Yeah, you can use it. It got destroyed by judgment. And cards, that, cards that say whenever it's sent to, from the field to the graveyard are really yeah. great. That's why Gazelles are one. I mean, you could summon the Salaman Great Link Monster and it gets striped and you can still yeah. summon Gazelle. I mean, yeah. you know, even like worse, that. there was um, Amazoness Village, like if a uh, deck dev from hand, or if you solemn a Amazoness or something, it's still, still specs. Get special from when Amazoness is destroyed, such an outrageous act. Oh, alright. Oh, good point. Yeah, Another reason why we love Squib League. There may be some shenanigans. It doesn't exceed summon, it says special. It exceeds summons. It says it like on the third last line. Then exceeds summon, blah blah blah. So it does summon it properly. It does exceed summon. So you can bring it back from the grave because it was summoned properly. And then we just eat the. Yet again, you can see how the, oh, the judgment this card is. The judgment cost him the game. I don't, I don't think it was a judgment. I think, I think regardless. I think regardless, he just couldn't do anything yeah. in that position. He's going first. He's going first. So Greg's going first, so I get Once again, same as game one. Maybe he can set the same board to take the same card. Okay, he's going to summon the same, same play as game one. Respect this rainbow colored thing. Rainbow fish. Rainbow fish. It's rainbow fish, bro. One pound fish. Oh, yeah, no, one pound. One pound fish. I was thinking, oh. <laughs> Angler from hand. Oh, you got. You're not in top cup, but you got him now. Yeah, man. Oh, I'm, I'm sure. Danny and Sam Yeah. Kieran's in there. So beating Sam or Danny in this group, like, maybe one game even is huge. I still don't think we are. Like what Greg just did. I mean, the bottom three teams are gonna be very close. Yeah, that's true. I think people are going to on and off all over the board, I think. Yeah, it's unstable. Uh, so, so hope we're going to spice it. It's going to be some time though. Yeah, unexpectedly. <laughs> He's still got Danny though, so... If he just win two games and then lose the next two, it's very average. Especially if he's got Kira as a teammate. Kira's got like almost no points. So Hope will win turn one and pass. Not as good as turn, uh, game one, turn one from Greg, but that's what we'll do. But it's the card that made him win the game. Okay. So we'll summon Hiruko. Ties of the Brethren. Hey, 2000 specimen, two of the same sort, top monster from the deck. Very strong card in Bujins, especially if you open it. As you can set up your hand after the solution. It's got Yamato and Mikazuchi both on the field. Immediately. You can't do your battle face this turn. Yamato will add in this card. <laughs> what have I missed? Well, clearly a lot. And then Mikazuchi will add we'll a spell. A Bujin spell trap card from deck. Oh, you can't do your battle face, but next turn is possible. 
Oh, what's stopping him from his battle phase? Uh, ties of the Brethren. Oh, so you play Ties, okay. So Ties on Bujin is a very, very good card because everyone's level 4, Beast Warrior, or even Beast. I don't know if you would use that if you're desperate, I guess maybe you could. But the little Beast ones. Um, might not be possible, might be viable if you're desperate, possibly. Like 2,000 life points. Get it is 2,000. Yeah. Especially Angler. Bring us half two back for this time, like last time, last game. Oh, tribute someone. Nice. What's he tributed for? The big fish. Koala can. Okay, so what does this boy do? He can spec as many uh, fishes from deck. From deck by ditching one. Oh, okay, sure, sure, sure. So he's going to add a fish from grave. So now he's got fuel. So ditch one, spec as many fishes. Deck, so he just specs four monsters from there. Wait, wait, what? I thought it was one per discard. No. 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 It's discard fish. one. Oh, this is getting a bit outrageous. It's yeah. pretty good. It's ditch one, spec as many fish from there. It's one of the best classic the fish cards. Yeah. Where's the ash? It is. I mean, he could go in strike or ash or whatever at this yeah. point and he probably lost the game, but Sam has no responses. So. He's gonna link it to Abyss, whatever it is. Oh, Abyss, so Abyss Skele. He's using it for the second effect, which is a fish effect, I believe. It's like a fish from uh, send a fish, a water from deck to grave, and summon one. He's gonna summon the white or a whale. Which is the same thing from last game. Yeah, it's a bit late. I don't know what it <laughs> What's that? <laughs> what is that? A call by the grave? Yeah, he, he, he just activate call by grave. Oh so you can chain rabbit. Because the quick, it's uh, and what does rabbit do again? Wait, is wait is rabbit quick effect? Yeah. Is rabbit quick effect? Yeah. Oh. Fair enough. He's just he's just cleared two of his monsters. Yeah, it's cost to banish as well, so he had to hold them. Or it's the same situation. Whose who's effect, sorry, was that to um, pop the two monsters? The dolphin, the whale. The dolphin. Can't battle about Once, no. When it vanishes, it, it's once. Can't be, it's on, on that instance, when you vanish. So it does die. Oh. Side. Side. No, it gains 500. Uh, it is. Nice. 14. Damage. Can you attack with Koala Can? Yeah, very close. Is there a restriction on it? On the... uh, no, the special summoned monsters can't attack. Oh, that's fair enough. That's the unrestriction. They didn't, don't have a single one of them. Very close. What's the life points? Yeah, oh. Cowboy. What's that Utopia car called again? <laughs> Utopia Ray? <laughs> Utopia, I've not seen that one in so long. long you, I mean, even, even... Yeah, Prime takes you down to 100 then. Yeah, no, Prime takes you down to 10. Yeah, it's 2510 for a reason, because it goes to 10 life points. I think we got it now, boys. Oh, I believe... Greg doesn't oh, have any more responses. Of course, the first player is going to be Carnation, which is two. Oh, so are we going to see a Susano so or a Two Bujins from Manish and Grape, and he's going to... So he's on 200 life points, they say. So he needs to do it this time. He has to recover. What I should have done. Got some Mermel there and Whale there, would have been game. Oh, for the extra 500. 500, yeah. <laughs> Bigger. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. That's pretty good. Cool. Another example of how leaks have changed the game in the sense of the, the positional plays. Yeah. So important. So wide. Yeah. Like one, one wrong placement of card could cost you the game. Uh, 
He's going to summon Hirume, banish Amy Kazuchi, let's hit the whale, let's hit his crane. Oh, it's honest. Oh my God. Is it honest or crane? It's honest. It's honest. It's not just a no or honest. Yeah, you gain 33. 67 attack. Six seven. Six seven, sorry. How much damage is that? Yeah, spin the first move. You can attack all of your monsters. And it's a lot of damage, and it's just game. That 200, oh. That placement. Yes. Gosh, it's a game. like to see. We always want to see a game. Right, so Greg's going first again. Set a back row. Is this the first brick of the day for Greg on the stream? Sure. Oh dear. Uh, you've got about just oh, about four minutes something. Four minutes and we've got a pile of bricks. What's going to happen? Probably less. What's that? Mrs. Mrs. Mikazuchi, which is 1900. And it's got three back row. And base is going to use Twin Twister. Twin Twister. A druid. The worst thing in first hand. Wow, what have we hit? The lands. Judgment. Yeah, yeah, to judgment is pretty good. Yeah, judgment is pretty bad. That's the thing you can do. Oh, we're we're ball, seeing this ball, set ball, a monster. Yeah. There's so that T set. set. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to see some macro. Galaxy Cyclone. What have we hit? Um, three minutes or something? Yeah, about three. Yeah, just, just three minutes, yeah. It's hitting about three minutes. It's 315. Around the gauze. Looks like Gregor's brick, which is oh my oh, lord, even is the evenly nice. <laughs> and in this case, it's actually good that he hit the judgment because I don't think he wants the judgment. Yeah. Wow. Okay. It's not very good in time with no monsters. If you're not doing any damage or defending your life wins. Okay. So number nineteen hundred. So that's three eight on the board. Not what I want. But okay. Uh, Take a thousand again. <laughs> Another life going change. <laughs> we see the Imperial Order now. Oh. <laughs> disrespect. <laughs> Always yeah. a disrespect. Dimension. Don't answer. Oh. Yeah, those have the judgment. Wow. Southern judgment, okay. Oh. And now. Oh, it's judgment, sorry. It's judgment. It's not warning, it's judgment. So that's more life. <laughs> Sam's still ahead. Oh, a must reborn. Oh my god. My judgment got cost in the game. No, I think he judgment it at the right time. I think right. he stopped the. Ex I think that was. The I mean, there's still about two minutes. Two minutes. I think there's. there's Where are the monsters? Eight, I think there's an 800 difference in life points. Right? Oh, who's winning? Um, <laughs> life points. Sam's it's winning by 800. Oh, there Sam's we go. on 4,000. and Greg's on. So second monsters in the field. I'd like to draw a monster. That would be nice. Well, the poison the old man is one of the That is a Susanoa. He gains 1,200. Oh, baby. <laughs> I'd set the wrong card. Oh, no. Don't no panic. For those watching, I didn't swap my yeah. <laughs> Infinity players here. Set the Archfiend. Setting up. Someone call George. Set Archfiend to the back. Yeah. MST, oh, I'm going to screw them up. Reverse <laughs> Infinity. <laughs> what is this monster? It's a, oh, I thought it was Manny Abo. If it was Manny Abo. Mm. Oh, Shady. it's stole for another time. out here. Where's his morphing jar, boys? Nice. Oh, that's there it. There goes. I just uh, did not see him off. So Rich, really Interestingly badly. enough, that 500. Well, one. But yeah, Sam takes it 2-1. So he cleans with you. When you have two generation yeah. force and rank wow. in your first Wow, that's pretty that grim. Bad. <laughs> right. See you next game. Such a consistent day.